Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Knowledge24. In our previous lecture, we discussed about constructors and destructor. Now in this video, we will see the topic dynamic constructor. When we talk about dynamic, it means it's a runtime. And when we talk about constructor, it means it is used to allocate the memory. So when these two terms are combined into a single term, then it becomes a dynamic constructor. It means dynamic constructor is a type of constructor in which the memory for the data members of the object is allocated at the runtime according to the user's need. So this is the type of constructor is called dynamic constructor and to make the dynamic constructor we use the new operator in the memory location of the constructor. So dynamic constructor is basically used for allocate the memory at the runtime. Now why we use dynamic constructor? So for example we have an integer type then we know that it takes two bytes so its value is fixed. Now suppose we have a string and a string is a group of characters and for it or other is like array then these two type of data type will not take any specific value means like for example a string. A string is a group of character and we know that a character can take one byte but we don't know what's the value of the string. Suppose the value of the string is two bytes and we are mentioning suppose the defining the size of the string is suppose 10 bytes so and but it will take only the two bytes suppose the value is a b then it will take only two bytes so remaining eight bytes will be vestes so to save this vestes of the memory or better memory utilization we use dynamic constructor or we can say that dynamic constructor is used when the objects are not of the same size means when we use a string or array like integer array character array in objects in data members then these objects will not of the same size so for this purpose we use dynamic constructor and it is used for saving the memory and better memory utilization so this is the main task that dynamic constructor is used when the objects of the class will not of the same size and used to allocate the memory at the runtime. Now this is the program for joining two strings using dynamic constructor. In this firstly we are creating class dyn and in this we are using name as a character pointer and length of the integer type. In public we are defining the default constructor dy end and in this we are defining len equal to 0. Initially we are assigning the value 0 and then name equal to new care len plus 1. So this is the new operator is used for memory allocation. So it is dynamically used and len plus 1 plus 1 is used for the extra value like uh, which is null character so this is the default constructor and then we create the second constructor in which we pass care asterisk s so in this we are passing the value of the string into the constructor and we are finding the length of a string and use new operator for allocating the memory as dynamically in name and copy the value of s into the name. Now we use display function for printing the value of name. Now in join function we are passing two objects of class dy and we add 
the length of these two objects into len delete the name because we are using many times name so it will delete the name and then now the value of the length will be assigned to the name and then a dot name will be copy into the name and then we use the str cat function concatenation function for joining two strings a dot name and b dot name then we use main function in main function we define three objects of different size n1 n2 n3 using the dynamic constructor now join function is call for the n3 object and in this we pass n1 and n2 object so it is clear that memory allocation of these three objects will at run time and these all objects have the different size now we will display the values of these three objects n1 n2 and n3 as like this and it is clear that all these three objects will take different size of memory and it is allocated at dynamically so this is the program related to dynamic constructor thank you